hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to fix up uh, overexposed photo so i'm just opening up a photo which is uh, download from the deviant.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description obviously this photo is overexposed and just uh, you got this picture like in a top sun so how to fix it up so at first make copy by pressing ctrl j before we start my tutorial i want to say one thing please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so after that here is uh just uh, plugins that is the camera filter and you can use it a uh, versatile way of your photography editing so go to the filter and camera filter you'll get this plugin automatically in the creative cloud version then you have to install the new version of the photoshop that means the creative cloud version whatever creative cloud version it could be like uh, 14 15 17 or 18 19 whatever so i'm using the photoshop uh, 2018 that means the creative cloud 18 and i got the camera filter automatically so from this filter if you just just down the exposure no it's not like that so you have to combine the all the things like exposure like the dehaze this one and everything so i'll show you this technique the hidden technique or the settings of this one so at first i'll decrease the exposure a little bit and then i'll go to the effects option and here is the option the dehaze option if you dehaze this one it will be like that so after that the here is the highlight option the highlight this one and from here uh, you just got one thing uh, this one is the like wormy type the variance is high that's why i'll decrease the variance a little bit yeah now this one is neutralized but uh, here is some overexposed area and here as well so i'll fix it up later and then just uh, go to the clarity light make the clarity like plus three and then black minus like this yeah like this portion and here the whites i'll make the whites a little bit up just because of the prominent portion of the face and then the shadow i'll decrease the shadow a little bit that's good let's see the before one and after one this one is the overexposed one and here you are getting the just uh, neutralized photo so now just i'll do another things for the neutralizer or make it like beauty type here the color of the face that is the orange and yellow and i'll decrease the saturation a little bit yeah i'll decrease the orange a little bit and then decrease the luminance of the red just because of lips color and the red portion of the face and increase the saturation and then in a background you are getting like a green color i'll decrease the green color saturation and luminance as well and from the basic panel i'll just work with that temperature and tint yeah i'll make the temperature like minus three or four and then we'll go to the camera calibration options and i'll adjust the color of the face like this so the hue of the primary red is plus 20 and the hue of the primary green plus 18 and minus 13 will be the primary blue color yeah you are getting nice look so let's see the before one and after one yeah you are getting the overexposed photo here and now you are getting like this so after that i'll go to the just sharpening or detail options i'll increase the detail for the detail and from here i'll add some luminance of noise reduction yeah it will be more polished like this so after that i'll go to the tone curve and then from the blue tone curve and just make the blue tone like this that's cool and then the rgb color mode and uh, just make it like this yeah that's good so let's see the before one and after one 
yeah here and here but in a eye options you are getting like uh, too much shadow that's why i'll add some shadow like this for neutralizing this one and add some, some blacks yeah just minus 13 minus 2 or 3 that's good yeah and as well as the dehaze option i'll make it like this now this one is neutralized okay and i'll save these settings for you guys and i'll give you that settings and then i'll just give you this one like yeah and hit the ok button let's see the before one and after one and now i will apply all the methods like uh, effects everything so what should i do i will go to the adjustment layer and the solid color and from here i'll add a color like this and then make it the soft light options yeah you can change the color you can pick up the color which one you want yeah like this one there's that's good yeah i'll make it like that and hit the ok button just because of uh it's a like a greenish type that's why let's see the before one the overexposed photo and the after one and then again adjustment layer and from the level and adjust the level like this here is no histogram then uh, that's why i'll just making it neutralize yeah that's good and the red color as well here is the histogram like this and yeah that's good and the blue options i'll make like this that's cool and then select these three things and make it group and make it merge and after that i'll just polish the face that's why i'll go to the filter and photo toolbox and skin finer from the skin finer i'll add or retouch the face like a smoothing skin yeah here is the rough skin you are getting and in this portion you are getting like that so the setting will be like this one the amount of sharpening like 65 around 65 or 60 and i'm making it zoom yeah it will be easy for you and then just yeah i'll take it like that just select once here and and now i'll adjust the fine options how fine will be like that and now the brightness contrast and shadow options brightness i'll make it like this and the color of the face i'll make it like warm that means the red type that's why the minus value and saturation i'll make it down and then shadow i'll make the shadow like this yeah that's good and the highlight i'll make the highlight down and brightness as well and contrast i'll make it like this so now you are getting the before one and after one here is some roughness but in this screen you are getting the softness and hit the ok button it will take time to give you the output and here is the progress where you were watching and let's see the before one and after one and now i'll use the nick collection color effects pro 4 and from that panel i'll get uh, lots of filters and lots of method as well so it's loading it it will take time how much it will take time it will depends on your pc configuration from here i'm using the cross processing and lots of methods over here and you can choose one of them and which will make your photo more creative or more like uh, like amazing so i have to choose the correct filter for getting the correct tone so now i'll use this tone and here is the strength of this and hit the ok button it will take time as well and give you the best output so yeah it's loaded saving your image here is a progress bar yeah before one and after one now another technique go to the adjustment layer again and go to the gradient options select the last gradient this one and make the style of the gradient that is radial and make it reverse and after that make it zero degree 
and make the scale like around 300 and just you can move the brighten area so in the face i'll make it brighten and adjust the scale like that and check out the teeth are options and hit the ok button and after that go to the adjustment layer again and gradient map from the gradient man map i'll give the dual color like i'll make it like blue color like this and hit ok and ok from the blending mode i'll make it soft light and you can make it like overlay no i'll make it soft light and change the gradient then i'll make the gradient like red type or pink type and this one i'll make it like this or this like this and hit ok and then make the opacity down like 64 yeah 10 or 12 before after let's see the before one image and the after one so you are getting this smooth like this one was the actually like a highlighted image in the overexposed photo and you are getting like the polished photo which is like that and then go to the adjustment layer again and the photo filter you can a add a cool filter which will make your photo more realistic so the blue one and make the scale like 25 or like that and then again adjustment layer and the color lookup from here the color lookup will get more 3d lut file and you can try those things those are really amazing so here is the horror blue color and now i'll make it the soft light and just make the opposite down yeah that's good and then again the level options so you have to change the level like this and like this and then again go to the curves and make the curves like this rgb curves yeah that's cool that's good yeah you're getting the clear view of your photography and you're getting the smoothing and everything is good and like that so before one that totally overexposed photo sometimes you will delete this type of photo from your camera but uh, if you know this technique or this technique of secret or settings you won't delete this type of photo and you'll make your photo like that so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say my signing out today bye bye